Your CW80 80 watt transformer uh, performs a couple different tasks. One, it's responsible for making your train run. It's important when you hook up your transformer that you connect it to the track properly. The red terminal underneath track is connected to the center rail of the track. The black terminal gets connected to the outside rails of the track. We've already checked our wires underneath. Red does in fact go to the center rail and black goes to the outside rails. So now we're going to go ahead and connect it to the transformer to get our train running. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and make the train run by increasing the power to the track. By pressing the direction button, I'm able to cycle the train into neutral. Pressing direction again will get the train running in reverse. Pressing direction again takes it out of reverse into neutral. While the power is applied and the train's in neutral, I can trigger the whistle by pressing the whistle button. This train is not currently equipped with a bell, so when I press the bell button, nothing happens. That's normal. Your transformer is equipped with a bell and whistle button, so that should you purchase a train in the future that is equipped with sounds, you'll be able to activate both the whistle or horn and bell. Now I'd like to take a moment and cover the accessory outputs on the CW80. Your CW80 is equipped with two terminals for accessory outputs. We have here a animated accessory which is nothing more than a light tower with two wires connected underneath. We're going to go ahead and connect this accessory to the transformer specifically to the accessory posts, red wire to the red terminal, and black wire to the black terminal. Now I'd like to cover how we set the voltage, assuming that the intensity of these lights are too bright for us. To change the variable output of the fixed accessory voltage, we simply hold down all three buttons, direction, whistle, and bell. The light on your transformer begins flashing rapidly, and we increase the throttle until the voltage is set to our preference. As you notice, as I'm increasing the handle of the transformer, the lights get brighter. As I turn it down, they get dimmer. Set the handle to the brightness that uh, pleases you, release all three buttons, turn the handle down, turn it on briefly, and now your accessory voltage output will be at that voltage for as long as the transformer is plugged in. Notice the track power is off and the accessory voltage is still on. Once I turn the power back on, pressing direction, Whistle or bell has no effect on my accessory output. One thing to keep in mind with your CW80 transformer is there is not an on-off switch. If you are done playing with the product and want to turn the transformer off, you must physically unplug the cord from the wall outlet. Another feature of the CW80 is the circuit protection. I'm going to go ahead and take this box car and intentionally derail it on the track to create a short circuit. When a short exists and my power comes on, if the short exists, the transformer will blink. Simply turn the transformer off, correct the short circuit, and reapply power. If the light stays on solid, the short is gone. Problem solved. That concludes the operation of the CW80 transformer.